Come on, man. This isn't even a horror game. Anyways, hello and welcome to Funny Business. It's not a horror game. For once, I'm not playing a horror game. This is crazy, right? You know, I can play other games that aren't horror related. I'm playing Funny Business. What is Funny Business? My only goal is to make this guy laugh. This... This... Oh, God. Oh, oh, God. This Stamp James down here. I think that's what his name is. You don't like it when I rub your face, do you? Boop. I'm gonna boop it. Oh, my God, you can boop a snoot. Let's do it again. I'm not gonna lie, this is the best game ever. I'm having way too much fun with booping this man snoot. Hello, new recruit, and welcome to Funny Business, where happiness is made. How do I... What am I supposed to do? Calm down. Calm down. Wait, 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 wait. See how low this hand can go. Hey, yo, what the fuck? We could probably mess with his his eyebrows, maybe? His eyes? What are we doing with his eyes? Oh, I have to press space. I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay, cool. As part of your induction, I will be training you with the fundamental principles of tricksterdom. I am your junior manager, Stone J Stone? That does not look like stone. That says stamp. Before leaving here, I have been instructed to provide you with your very own mnemonic accessories. Also known as attack and less fantastic companies. At Funny Business, we believe in employee of expression because we are one big happy family. Do you know? Employee expression. We really are one big happy family. Are you my stepbrother? Well, such we will be providing you to design your very own name tag. I mean, the modern accessory. Please write your first name above the line. Alright, my name is Wise. Whose coffee stain is that? Why is it ripped? I'm apparently a middle child who was never loved. My name is. Can I actually write? Like, what do I. What should I write? I'm gonna call myself. Oh my god, you actually can write. This is so dis. What the hell? That scared me and made me realize how much I wanted to finish. Like, you didn't even let me complete. All right, that's a little bit too much expression. I'll show you too much expression. Dry exercise is more commonly friendly of expression, if you will. Right. Hello, my name is Type Name. It's gonna be the same. I'm gonna kill you. I'm actually. Oh my god. Okay. You know what? That's fine. You have group therapy at this business. Is there like a like a 30 minutes we set aside to go for a walk? Cause I need that. Actually, all the snack of products. How about we just like a more friendly company group name together? Gavin Jessica Yibbit. Okay. I'm gonna choose, like, who doesn't choose Yibbit? Huh? 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 I'm gonna choose Jessica. Jessica, as you know, at Funny Business, we do the economics of laughter and mirth. You are going to need to be trained in the fundamentals of comedy. As you will see, Jessica, every funny man knows there are three principles at the heart of every man. Let's begin with... Timing. That's actually true. How would I know that? I just looked it up one time, because I was like, how could I be better at comedy? It's all about timing. Timing is essential. There is a place and time for everything. That is that is true. That's cool. Plus, I also, I've heard it from like some of my uh, voice acting coaches. Timing is essential. Have to have good timing. Improv. Anyways, this is all stuff that I learned. Timing is essential in every job. See how I stood there in silence for five seconds? 
<laughs> Master comedians have a firm grasp of the importance of time. Now that you have received level 1 security clearance, I can give you this. This is your standard issue hook. Try not to lose it. Sound Goose provide a good opportunity for a rising jester dog to practice their timing. Okay, can I? What? Did... Was that a... That wasn't good. That wasn't good timing. Try and time your arm for maximum fun. Don't worry, this is not a test. We just want to see where you are at. Whenever you're ready. Try not to freak out. Don't pile on the pressure. What are we doing? Am I just... I don't want to blow this man's horn! <laughs> you are getting very, very sleepy. Soon you will go to sleep, and then I will blow the horn to wake you up. Funny, funny gaff, ha ha! Hmm. Okay, that's fine. I feel like he wouldn't have been pleased regardless. You'll learn on the job. If you're finding the joke isn't funny, you can try repeating it until it... What? No. No, no. <laughs> I hate this because this kind of hits home, because every time I say a bad joke, I will repeat it like, eh? Eh? Well, that, that, I, maybe that's what he means. I don't know about repeating a joke. Oh, why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side. Why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side. Why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side. Why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side. Why did the chicken cross the road? To get to the other side. Why did the chicken cross? Many jokes get better the more you repeat them. Many jokes get better the more you repeat. Oh Jesus, no! You may notice I repeated myself there. <laughs> well, that's what I mean. Give it a shot. You don't need to be as good as me yet. We are here to nurture your funny bone. What am I supposed to do? Repeat a joke? Oh, look at this. Oh, he's getting mad. Mother of God! Why does the hand always scare me? Is his nose about to fall off? Let me try that. Contact. Before I continue with my, you know, master class on learning to be funny, I just want to say, this wasn't supposed to be a horror game, but I get jump scared by that frickin' hand! Like, I never know when it's coming- Jesus Christ. What you say is as important as you how you say it. My mother was a postman. She was letting off for delivering the wrong package. Even though she was not done. It's like that. You are the master of your funny space. The contacts you create and it doesn't stream or after whether the audience wants to or not. Some word they're funny like slime and waffle. What about potpourri? I think that's a pretty funny word. In other words, they're not funny like laundry and regicide. Regicide? Oh, okay, we king killing? I didn't I'm sorry, my bad. <laughs> Whoa! Please pick the funniest word from this list. Bartholomew? Um, <laughs> I kind of like Bartholomew. But also, like, my, my caveman brain is like, <laughs> that's pretty funny. And then latitude. Attitude with an A. An L. I gotta go with... Okay. It's good to be your biggest fan, I suppose. What? Come on, man! What were you gonna pick? Can you... Can the master show me what you were gonna pick? I'm curious if you would've picked latitude. Let's try another exercise. Please finish this joke. And just try to make me laugh. Huh. Let's start with the sound. Okay, three horses walk into a bar. There are two types of people in the world. Knock knock. Can I take his sunglasses? Oh! If you're wondering why I did that so long, it's because I saw that he put on like the, uh, I don't remember what they're called, but it's the glasses with the mustache and then the nose and then the eyes. 
I saw he put that on, and I was trying to get him to put them on again, but I couldn't. I guess we'll stick with these Johnny Bravo S glasses. Oh wait, no, actually, that would be. There is a god. All right, let's go with there are knock knock. All right, no building on that. And one says it uh, with friends like these. I don't know why that made me laugh. Why did that make me laugh? Guys, you don't have friends like these. And one says to the other, an octopus in a trench coat. <laughs> That's very Jerry Seinfeld. I don't know why. With friends like these. Wow. And try bringing it home with a bunch of them. I'm walking here. Days nuts. Oh! You already know my sense of humor. I gotta go with, I'm walking here. Let's go with these nuts. Well. Well, that was something. Just between you and me. Not all jokes land. But in cases like these, you can just throw a pie instead. Usually you require a little too serious cl uh, security clearance for that. That funny business, we value career mobility as quick as our wit. <laughs> Let's move on to the final printer. Surprise! I don't like this one. I don't like this one. I get surprised easily. Oh, you're fired. Hooray! And then a little... Fuck! Come on, man! Oh, I was so close! Nobody move. Okay, I'm fired. Why? Uh-huh. Just kidding. That was something you weren't expecting to hear. Which is quite funny. Surprise is the most powerful principle of comedy. It combines the first two dangerous effects. The worst joke is what you have heard before. The lesson is just joke that gets funnier over time. For another exception, it isn't coming to me right then. Orange, be glad that nobody says my dad anymore. I will present to you a jack of the box. The only jack I see is the one on your face. <laughs> we should probably get that off. <laughs> a beloved toy to terrorize small children with unexpected clowns. <laughs> to introduce you to the power of surprise, I would like to, to try this toy. Turn the crank and enjoy the weather with it, if you would. Why? Why did it get quiet? What if I throw the pack? It still makes noise. Sorry. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm trying to boop a snoot. No, 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 no. What if we do it really fast? Will it still be scary? I hate surprises, dude. This isn't fun. I, I hate surprises. That's why I don't like jump scares. I get shocked easily. I've been scared by a leaf and a tree and a door on multiple occasions in every horror game I've ever played. All right, let's just be mad. Is this supposed, it's supposed to, okay. <laughs> Mother of God, the hand, every time. Okay, did you get, did you get all that? It was pretty funny, but right? Because you were surprised at how it works. I've changed this man's voice like three times, I want to say. Well done, that's all we needed to learn. Congratulations, you are now powered with the building blocks of any great jump gang, jape, and adjacent Tom Fooleries. In a sense, you are now an artist, only your canvas is a face. With precise timing, authentic content, and appropriate surprise, you can paint smiles on the faces of this world over. So with all that out of the way, I have one last joke for you. No, no. I swear if the hand comes back, what do you think? I'll let you know the answer. It was you. You're the who. Because you're now fully inducted. Welcome to the funny business. We're making our business to bring the funny. What are you waiting around for? A punchline? All right, thank you. Thanks for the inauguration. Mother of God, stop! I'm pretty sure that's the end. This game actually scared me worse than like most horror games, and that makes me sad. Anyway, that was funny business. If you want to play that for yourself, I'll put it down in the description. That was actually really good. I enjoyed that immensely. Everything they said is actually true though, because that is all like basic information you know to be funny, or the art of comedy more, more is. More like that's what they were teaching you. But that was great. I actually enjoyed that. It was very informative. I've learned a lot about how to be funny. Unfortunately, I'll never apply it in real life. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.